What is the personal name of God himself, according to the Jewish scriptures? Uh, the answer to this question is fascinating, and we can explore it in detail in this great book, The Bible, A Historical and Literary Introduction by Bart Ehrman. This is, as I've said before many times, probably the best uh, single work on the market in English uh, that can give you a good academic introduction to uh, the historical and literary aspects of the Bible. Rather than seeing it as uh, a devotional work, uh, the Word of God, it sees it as an historical text. I'm just trying to understand it in its context. So I'm just going to read um, a bit from this, which explains the personal name of God, and then um, offer a few comments um, on the translations today that we have and the problems they've experienced quite recently in getting this quite right. So Bart Ehrman says on page 54, God is called by many names in the Bible, including Lord, God, Lord God, God Almighty, God the King, and Lord God of hosts. But there is one term used of God that appears to have been thought of by ancient Israelites as his actual personal name. In English, this is often given as Yahweh, Y-A-H-W-E-H, -E based on the Hebrew word Y-H-W-H. -H. Ancient Hebrew, like ancient Arabic, did not have vowels, only consonants. And so we do not actually know how the word was pronounced, though Yahweh is a good guess. So this is a guess. We don't know actually how the word was pronounced anymore. Because this special name of God consists of four letters, it is sometimes referred to as the tetragrammaton. It's a Greek word meaning literally the four letters. Tetra meaning four, grammaton meaning word. Because God himself was thought to be so holy, it eventually came to be considered improper or even blasphemous to call him by his personal name. And so when ancient Jews read the scriptures out loud, and came to the tetragrammaton, instead of pronouncing it, they would say instead the word Adonai, A-D-O-N-A-I, which is the Hebrew word for Lord. That is why even today, English translations as a rule do not give the personal name of God as Yahweh when it occurs, as it does thousands of times in the Hebrew Bible, but instead translate it as Lord with big capital letters, to differentiate it from the translation of Adonai as Lord. Now, this is slightly inaccurate. There are uh, modern translations that do translate it as Yahweh, and I'll come to that in a minute. There's a fascinating story behind this. By the 7th or 8th century BC, Jewish scribes added vowels to the text of the Hebrew Bible, much as people added vowels to the Arabic text of the Quran, actually. That's me, not Bar Ehrman, by the way in part to make it easier to read in both cases. But to make sure that the ancient readers of the biblical text did not inadvertently say the name Yahweh when they came to it, they provided it with the vowels that went instead with the word Adonai. This combination of consonants and vowels was very difficult to pronounce. And so readers would be alerted to the divine name and would simply speak it as Adonai. It was this strange conglomeration of consonants and vowels, keeping the consonants of the tetragrammaton, but using the vowels of the word Adonai, that led to the invention of a new word in English, Jehovah, Jehovah, because J-H-V-H is the English equivalent of Y-H-W-H. And of course, then we have Jehovah's Witnesses. And this is a new word. It's not found in any biblical text. Uh, it's an English word invented by this conglomeration of Yahweh and Adonai. So it's not an authentic original religious term at all. So coming back to Yahweh. Now, virtually all modern translations do not use the word Yahweh. This is true, but some do. And the most famous of all is this one. This is the New Jerusalem Bible. Um, and it's an official uh, production of the Roman Catholic Church itself. So this is not just any old translation. This is the official translation. It's a study Bible. has lots of wonderful notes at the bottom. And just to give you an example, in Psalm 23, the famous, you know, the Lord is my shepherd psalm, 
here in this translation, it says, Yahweh is my shepherd, I lack nothing. In grassy meadows, he lets me lie. Yahweh is my shepherd. So this does have, maybe you can see that, this does have Yahweh in it, in this highly um, prestigious and uh, uh, um, academically excellent translation. So what's the problem with that? Well, this translation was revised um, recently, the last year or two. This is the revised New Jerusalem Bible, exactly the same publisher. It's official publication of the Catholic Church. And in the foreword to this, it says something fascinating. It talks about um, some of the changes that have been made to the translation. And it says this, soon after his election as Pope, Benedict XVI, who is still alive, of course, but he's uh, emeritus, he's retired. He was approached by the chief rabbi of Rome, who said that the use of a possible vocalization of the divine name was offensive to the Jews. Pope Benedict submitted the matter to the Pontifical Biblical Commission, and we recommended the use of Lord with small capitals for Yahweh, a suggestion which the Pope accepted. So they've dropped the use of this word now in their translation. And if we look at Psalm 23, the same Psalm I read just now, it says, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. So this is exactly the same translation, but there now, which you probably can't see, maybe you can, Instead of Yahweh, they've translated it uh, into, uh, as Lord because the chief rabbi of Rome protested um, to the Pope himself that this word Yahweh was offensive because it is a blasphemy for them to hear this word just used uh, all the time, even though it is actually in the, in the Hebrew scripture itself. So um, the revised Jerusalem Bible has backed down and no longer has the word Yahweh. So there really are very, very few, just very um, uh, small little translations that, that aren't really the mainstream ones that might have that. You can look it up on Google. But this, this according to uh, the Jewish Bible, is the personal name of God. Jews don't utter it anymore. We don't really know how it's pronounced because it's fallen out of use ages ago. Uh, probably a couple of thousand years ago, it fell out of use. Um, but I thought that was an interesting story, and I just wanted to share that with you. Till next time.